everybody, hey, what is going on YouTube? This is Tyler and I am back again with Let's Play uh, World of Warcraft Project Ascension. This is episode 23, and we are here at the Zyatajai Ruins. Uh, this is the place where a couple episodes ago, last episode or a few episodes ago, I was trying to figure out what this place was called. I knew it was some sort of ruins uh, in, in line with the other ruins, the Bilal Ruins and the Zulkunda Ruins, but this is the Zyatajai Ruins. Uh, we're home to all of these skull splitter trolls that we have a plethora. And I know I say this a lot. I usually say a metric fuck ton of quests to do, but today I'm going with plethora. So we have speaking with Nezliok. I think we need uh, a Ziatajai trophy from here. Uh, we also have, let's see here, skull splitter tusks and possibly split uh, split bone necklaces. I'm not sure if that's that's here as well but it, it could be and I just want to preface this uh, episode real quick before I get into any combat uh, just by letting you know it is a goddamn beautiful day here in Southern California it's probably like 70 degrees out if that maybe even like 65 so I have my front door open so you might be hearing some extra extra curricular noises um, just because this mic uh, that I have will pick up literally everything so I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. I know uh, next door I, I have, uh, there's some gardeners doing their things over there at my neighbor's house, I think. So you might be hearing like um, a leaf blower or maybe some sort of <laughs> lawnmower or something like that. So I just wanted to let you guys know you might be hearing shit, shit like that in the first place. But but now that that's uh, all said and done, let's, let's get into this, uh, the nitty gritty of this episode uh, by killing all these mobs uh, and there are a lot of mobs we have to kill I always have to be mindful to to use actually use my concussion blow just because I mean it's always off cooldown so I need to be more mindful to start using that so uh, as you can see these guys these mobs I guess I should say and they all are all guys I believe um, are no threat to me this guy wants to invite me to a group, so I guess I can group up with them. I don't want to reset my data just because I have I have so much damage done on my recount. Uh, that that was what it was asking me to reset, and I'm like, eh, I don't I don't really want to reset that, you know. Um, so we've grouped up, but I mean, I've already killed all those mobs over there anyway. So <clears throat> there are different spots where we can go to kill. Skull splitter mobs, so uh, just because we've killed all the ones in uh, in that little encampment doesn't mean that there are aren't more along the way. And that guy just decided, okay, you're done. You're done. You've killed all the mobs here. I'm done with you for now. And I say, okay, bye, <laughs> bye, Felicia. So let's go up here. There's gonna be another small little ruin area, an area of ruins, I guess I could say. That we need to kill some more mobs. We also have to kill. Uh, we need to kill and collect. Uh, we need to kill Anifek and collect his broken armor, and that's part of the speaking with Ganzula. Uh, and that, along with that, we have to kill like oh my god, 18 other mobs. That's insane. That's insanity. Oh, I don't want to kill those people. Please, sir. Please, no, sir. The ruins of Zul Mamwe. Oh shoot. You know what I didn't get? I wait. No, did I get it? I'm like, I didn't get the uh, Ziatajai trophy, but maybe I did. Did I did I get a trophy? No, I don't think I did. I did I did loot these skeletal shoulders. Oh, that, that's not bad. What do I have equipped? Oh, I have Forest Tracker Epaulets. Epaulets. So, strength and stam. I already have strength and agility, so I'd rather have stam than agility. But what are these? Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. What are these? Hello, hello. Plus 14 agility, so that's plus 4 agility. I'm losing stamina, but it has a random equip effect. Increases you and your pet's attack power and range attack power equal to 4% of your stamina. Of your total stamina. My stamina right now is 157. So 5% of that would be what? 7? Oh, that's really not that great. 10% <laughs> would be 15, plus 15 attack power. And that's 10%. So half that would be like 8 if it gets rounded up, but it, it'd probably be around seven, six or seven. So this is really only like plus 14 agility and then plus seven attack power. So it's it's really not that great. 
I'll just keep what I have on now because I'd have to give up. Look at look look what I have on here. I'd have I'd have to give up 11 stamina, and I'd rather keep the stamina. For sure, I'd rather keep the stamina. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of mobs here, and they're all pretty pretty high leveled. Um, the thing here is, we I think we should want to kill. God, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. We want to kill the Beastmaster first, because that way. Okay, now we got this. We good, fam. We good. We want to kill the Beastmaster because it will despawn. Uh, now let's go for the Panther. Or no, maybe we have to kill the Hunter first. Yeah. Either way, I thought I thought we'd be in a little bit more trouble, but it seems not to be the case. Um. Wow, these guys, <laughs> these guys died really fucking quick. I can't use execute. What are you talking about? Now I can. You're dead now, punk. All right. So there are a bunch of mobs in here, as you just saw: beastmasters, hunters, witch doctors, scouts. Uh, so if you guys follow me, um, so these are the ruins of Zul Mamwe. I've said that already before. Uh, we want to kill the hunter first. Shit. Yeah, we fine. We fine, fam. Where's the other hunter? Uh oh. We not fine, fam. We not fine. If you kill the hunter first, uh, it will cause the pet to despawn instantly. So definitely try and kill. Whenever I, I know I talked about this last episode. Whenever you are fighting mobs, that have summoned pets be it uh like wolves or or like hunter type pets like we just saw like these panthers or void walkers or imps on this server specifically and it's, this might not be the case for retail wow because it, it doesn't seem very blizz like you want to kill that said npc and it will despawn uh its summoned pet which seems I wouldn't say it's a bug, but it's just it's just the case here on this server anyway. So if you follow me to this little cave off to the side, we will find uh Enethek the Cruel. He is level 45 and he does have two mobs with him. So this quest is probably red actually. Yeah, it is. So why are we even doing this? I don't know. It's gonna be a challenge. Do you think we can do it, boys? I think we can do it. Boys and girls. Not to discriminate against my female viewers if there are any I don't know if I've I probably said this once or twice before but I can look at my analytics for all my videos and it, it last time I looked and it's been a while I think it the ratio the male to female ratio is like 90% of my audience were, were males and I'm just like yeah that that seems that seems right I don't know I don't know why but gosh I don't know if I can if I can kill these guys do I have any big cooldowns I can blow no, but I do have... Fuck it. Let's do it. Uh-oh. I'm like, no, I don't have any cooldowns. But I do have... Some... Oh, uh-oh. Some health potions. Sorry, is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to I'm trying to focus right in right here. Focus, focus this guy down. Hello? He's not dying? Hello, pet? Okay. Oh, god damn, help, 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 help. No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. My pet's got aggro? Okay, that's good. Whew, I can, I can relax for a second and bandage up. My pet won't die, I know that because... Let me loot this guy first and get his broken armor, actually. Uh, let's go for this guy. I think we're fine. Yeah. Yeah, we good. We good. We good. We good. We good. Get fucking dunked on, mate. Are you kidding me? God damn, I'm good. Woof. Woof. Look at that. Two level 44s and a 45. That's six levels. That's six levels ahead of me. Come on, are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? All right. So, I can't remember if there is a an experience penalty for turning in quests. Like, if you complete a quest that's red... I can't remember if it gives you reduced experience as opposed to turning a, turning the quest in when it's orange or when it's yellow. But 
I don't think it doesn't seem like there would be like there, there shouldn't be right that doesn't make any sense that there that that that's the case so we have to kill three more berserkers I don't even know where these these guys are located I've only ever seen that one berserker in that cave we also have to kill six more skull splitter headhunters and then four more hunters uh, and all these other mobs are just you know extras these are all scouts in here scouts and beastmasters pet mobs that I don't really have to kill so let's not kill them that's another beastmaster I think there are some headhunters if we head on out here maybe not maybe they're all just located up there oh you know what oh shit don't attack me no 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 don't don't shoot don't shoot your arrows at me okay there's another there's an another area up here that should have mobs more related you can probably hear that by the way I think that's a chainsaw or some sort of leaf blower I'm not sure there are definitely some berserkers in here spirit chasers so we we could do this quest but I don't really want to do this quest right now so let's not let's head on over to what's over here we need to kill someone and gain we have to we have to find the trophies of these different ruins and I don't know if we have to kill someone or if it's just we we loot the trophy so let's head up this hill here it seems like it would be up here right if we had to if it was a if it was a gathering quest seems like this is the spot for it yeah uh, I don't know actually I don't know where we I'd have to I, you know what I need to read the quest text to find out what the hell I'm even doing so there's some more split bone necklaces uh, let's read this then here Speaking with Nesliok, it is true. I know where the child of the dark spirits were taken. Uh, one skull must be there f from their trophy pile. Oh, so we have to find a skull from a trophy pile. Okay, so I have to go back to Ziatajai because that's I missed the trophy there. But we are here at Zulmamwe. We have to look for a <laughs> pile of skulls. And I have no idea where it would be. And take from it one skull, and that being the trophy. Uh, you know what? I think we do have to come up in here and kill all these mobs. I think. I think. Oh, that was probably a waste. A waste of my ability. So there's a bunch of headhunters in there, which we do have to kill. Uh-oh. Mog the Undying. That is an elite mob. I don't think I can take him down. I don't see any skulls here, so I don't think it's up here. There are a lot more berserkers that we need to kill for this quest up there anyway. So let's go to a different spot in Zulmamwe. I need to try and find this uh, pile of skulls. Where are you? Excuse me? I don't see it over here either. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says it's up over here, but I don't, I don't trust that. I don't believe that. Unless it's right up here and I missed it. That's just a warrior. The objective, the the, the quest objective is saying it's like a, I'm standing like right on top of it, but I don't see any skulls. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. Whoops. Where I don't even know where. Where's the other ruins? Cause I only know that there's Ziatajai right here. There's Zulkunda. There's Balal and Kalai. But I don't see uh, Baliama. Baliama. Yo no se. I don't know where it is maybe it's in here oh all those guys have respawned that's lovely maybe it's in here I don't know I do know is that I want to kill this Beastmaster for sure yeah. 
Are there a pile of skulls in here? I can't even I can't even tell. I can't even tell. Eh. Eh. It doesn't look like it. Man, that's bizarre. I don't know. Alright, fam. Well <clears throat> let's I guess move on from this place. Maybe, maybe not. I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut away. I'm going to keep killing all these mobs. And I'm going to try and look for the trophy pile. And if I do ever find it within the ruins here, uh, I'll definitely cut back and uh, show you where exactly it is. I just want to try and save some time because I know I've probably spent like at least fucking 15 minutes already killing mobs here. So that's like half the episode right there. Feels bad, man. All right, so I'll cut away. Uh, I'll see you guys wherever I end up. I don't know. I might be here. I might, I might head on over to do the two quests: Raptor Mastery and Mock Thardens Enchantment. I will be doing these two this episode, so just be prepared for that. Uh, wherever I end up, though, I will see you guys in just a second. All right, guys. I swear to God, I am not this blind because I was over here in this area, and these trophies. This, this pile of trophy skulls was not here before. It was not here before. So I don't know where the hell... It must have despawned whenever the last person came by and looted it. And I don't know how long the respawn timer was. Because, I mean, I was there killing mobs for at least like five minutes, right? <clears throat> and I never saw that, that pile of skulls. So it definitely must have been... Uh, just been on a long respawn timer. So that was the uh, Zulmamwe trophy... We want to come over here, uh, and this is going to be the Baliama Trophy. Or the Ruins, I guess I should say. Before I before I can loot the trophy, we're going to reach the Baliama uh, Ruins. And it's still the same mobs, Skull Splitters. And there is the Trophy Skulls right there, sitting in a nice little pile for me to come by, swoop in, and, and grab them. So we got this Axe Thrower here, and he's kind of annoying because... He can stay at a distance and get you uh, with some ranged spells. So you want to be uh, just be wary of that. If you aggro him, you kind of want to try and line of sight him so that he'll chase you around the corner or wherever the hell you end up running to. Um, I don't really need to kill any of these mobs anymore, only because I've already completed all the quests. Uh, well, for the most part involving these skull splitter mobs so there was only really two uh, and that was sp split bone necklace and then down here in booty bay is the skull splitter tusks all the other mobs are involved with the two quests speaking with uh, ganzula and speaking with nesliok so we don't have to kill any more mobs, but it is a good chunk of experience we're getting anyway, so we might as well. So that's the Baliamot Trophy. It's sitting nice right here in the open. You know, not tricking you. Not <clears throat> There's there's only one ruin here at Baliamot, and there is actually a solid chest. I almost uh, missed this one. I was going to ride away before I saw it. What did I get? So we got some plans, garbage, and then we got the Renegade Shield of the Tiger. Which, you know, isn't too bad, but I don't use shields anyway. So, it's it's really pointless for me to have this. So, usually I just I just sell all these grains anyway. Let's see here. So, let's go come back down here to the uh, Ziatajai ruins where I started. And, because I missed the pile of skulls down here in the first place. I think somebody had already looted them because I didn't see those when I was here uh, at the start of the episode. I think, you know what it was? There was an, another orc. There was another player that I grouped up with at the start. And I think that's who uh, looted it in the first place. You're dead, punk. You're dead. D E D dead. Come on, execute. Cool, thanks. So, we probably will have to kill these mobs anyway. So let's just go ahead and send my pet in. So he takes aggro. And that's that! That's the Ziatajai trophy as well. Um, excuse me, who's doing so much massive damage to my pet? Could you not? <laughs> Could you maybe chill, please? All my- oh, oh no! All my buffs are 
gonna <laughs> they're gonna expire all at the same time. Feels bad, man. Oh, the Ankh of Life. That's a trinket. Increases my armor. This is a random enchant equip right here. Increases your armor contribution from cloth and leather items by 2%, uh, but then the use is it heals your target for 135 to 165 5 minute cooldown. And, you know, that's not too bad for me, only because I don't have any heals to begin with, which I know I do have two ability essences. I could put those to use. Um, I'm thinking about regrowth as... Uh-oh, there's a Shadow Maw Panther. I'm gonna aggro him right there. Who dat? Level 37. I'm not gonna attack you. I don't really care about you. I'm coming over here uh, for these basilisks, boy. Hey, excuse me? What kind of hitbox is that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that tigress, I mean, swung from at least five feet away and hit me. And it's like, what? <laughs> excuse me? So let me buff up here. And I do need to kill a f Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. I do need to kill a few of these cold eye basilisks only because uh, I already have 7 out of 10 singing crystal shards and that's not enough. Don't put my pet to sleep. Oh, that's a, that's a long stun. It's like a, you know what? It's like a 5 second stun. But damage will uh, will interrupt will end the stun, I guess, the debuff. It's a it's a really weird crystalline slumber. So now my pet's asleep, oh, for like 13 seconds. Any damage, I think, interrupts it. So, oh, Monka S, already some dead basilisks there, excuse me. So we have eight singing crystal shards, we need one more. And there's only one more basilisk mob to begin with. No, 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 don't stun me. Excuse me, sir. Alright. Uno mas. We need one more. But before I get the last one, I'm gonna run down here. Just north, northwest-ish of the Gurubashi Arena. We're kinda gonna be behind it. We're coming up on the other, on the back side of it. Because we need to kill these jungle stalkers, boy. We have two quests to do here. Involving all these, uh, all these raptors. The first being uh, Raptor Mastery, which is a quest from uh, Nessingwari's Expedition. Uh, the second being uh, Mokthardin's Enchantment, which Mokthardin is a quest giver over in the Gromgal base camp, and he wants 10 of these uh, Jungle Stalker feathers. So I'm going to be over here in this area killing all these raptors. I need to kill 10, at least 10, and as you just saw, the Jungle Stalker Feather isn't a 100% drop, so I'm going to be ending up killing more than just 10 of these mobs. But I'll be over here. Um, it's technically, we can be down here at the Southern Savage Coast or back up uh, wherever the hell I was earlier. Just wherever, whatever's this area is called up here. Up the hill. What is that called? I don't know. But there's tons of these Raptor mobs here, so they're not in... Uh, I don't know, even know what I was going to say. They're not in short supply. That's what I was going to say. So, we're just going to be killing killing these raptors uh, in the meantime. So I'm going to cut away now. And here's what here's my plan. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be killing these jungle stalkers. Uh, when I head back up to Gromgol, I'm going to stop by uh, where the basil basilisks just were. Excuse me. Uh, finish killing either one or two more to collect. I need only one more. Seeing crystal shard and then uh, I'll meet you guys over back at Gromgal base camp then we can head up to Ness and Warriors expedition then we could probably fly down to booty bay and because we're gonna have some quests to turn in down there too so uh, I'll cut away and I'll see you guys uh, up at Gromgal base camp hey 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 what's going on guys I'm back here at Gromgal base camp let's go ahead and talk to can we like be connect and turn in this quest split bone necklace uh, 25 split bone necklaces Go ahead and turn this bad boy in. We'll probably level up, actually. I'm not I'm not sure how much we need. But, I mean, he's given us 10,000 experience. Uh, that's quite a bit of experience, if you ask me. Uh, neither of these pieces, uh, these rewards, are going to be replacements. So let's just pick the one that, that will sell to the vendor more. And with that, we ding, dong, dang, level up to 40. 
Halla fucking Luya. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some stat points in. Uh, and I know I've talked about this uh, many times before, but since we've hit 40, between 40 and 50, we will be gaining five stat points per level. So let's go ahead and put two in strength, one in stam, and two in agility, I believe, is probably the best. Um, we could actually be doing one, one, and three in agility just to keep that crit chance going up. Um, but let's just keep it two, one, two, I think is is a pretty good um, uh, uh, ratio. And let's also go into character advancement now that we have three ability essences and one talent essence. And since we've hit 40, uh, a new tier of talents has unlocked. And really, level 40 is, is where the fun begins. I mean, with customizing all your uh, spells and abilities and talents and all that stuff. I mean, Moonkin form becomes available in the balance tree, balance druid. Uh, shadow form become, becomes available for you in Shadow Priest. You get things like Storm Strike uh, in the Arms Warrior Tree. You get things like uh, Mortal Strike, which is an incredible ability. I will be picking this up, uh, just not right now, uh, because for now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Storm Strike. And so things to keep in mind, uh, abilities and spells that you, you get from the Talent Tree cost two ability essences but they also cost one talent essence so keep that in mind we're gonna be learning storm strike instantly attack with both weapons in addition uh, my next four non-periodic nature damage spells and abilities uh, to the target are increased by 20% I don't have any of those yet uh, but I could pick up uh, next time I level up at 41 I could go pick up like flame shock or frost shock if I wanted to that way I could pair it a little better with my storm strike uh, another thing I wanted to pick up, I, and I just realized this, uh, Whirlwind became available to me at some point. I thought it was pro it was probably around like 36 or 38, uh, but this is also another really good ability for me to have. Uh, in a Whirlwind of Steel, you attack up to four enemies within eight yards, causing weapon damage from both melee weapons to each enemy. Now this is a lot better than Cleave, actually. Cleave is a sweeping attack that does your weapon damage plus 15 to the target and his nearest ally. This is attacking with both weapons up to four enemies within eight yards so i think i'm actually going to unlearn cleave it's going to cost me a bit of a bit of gold a bit of coin we're going to unlearn cleave we're going to learn whirlwind and that means we can go into the furrier talent tree and unlearn improved cleave which increases the bonus damage so all in all it cost me around five gold but now we have uh three more talent essences that we could start putting into different abilities such as a uh, mortal strike next next level when we level up we can go for a mortal strike or you know what we could uh in the fury talent tree there is improved whirlwind we could go for that uh, bloodthirst we would have to wait until next level but we could go for improve improved whirlwind that will increase um the damage of it by 20 percent so let's go into where would it be under where is enhancement enhancements right here so here's storm strike that honestly is probably going to be like my number one ability and then let's go into fury and grab whirlwind that's also going to be pretty high up there so man things are starting to change at 40 uh in a good way in a good way i'm, I'm not gonna put any new talent points in there oh we got a piece of uh we got mail because at 40 now we've unlocked epic writing is that what it is? It's probably it's probably what it is. I probably don't have enough money for that now that I just unlearned some abilities. Thirty gold? I yeah, I don't think that's enough for an epic uh, mount. So let's go ahead and turn in. Speaking with Nesliok, turn this in. These are the three schools. Yes, this will serve me well. When my spirit is freed, I will enter the Nether with three fine servants. You are a credit to your undead clan, and you have appeased me. Uh, and there is no follow-up because we do have to turn in speaking with Gonzula first, and then there will be a follow-up after that, where we will talk with uh, both of them, and they will tell us where uh, the young Dark Spirit Troll is that was uh, kidnapped, I believe, is what this whole thing... This is what the whole hubbub is about, you know? So let's go ahead and turn in Mokthardian's Enchantment. This was the Tin Jungle Stalker Feathers. Grab some nice, a nice chunk of experience there, and he does have another follow-up. Bring an aged gorilla sinew to Farseer Mokthardin. Uh, so now I'm going to cut away, guys. I'm going to head over to uh, Nessing Warrior's Expedition, where we can turn in Raptor Mastery and pick up uh, the follow-up to that, I believe, is to kill an elite Raptor mob, as we've been doing with, like, Bagthera and 
the, the Sindal. I actually don't think Sindal was an elite mob. But first, let me test out my new abilities. Storm Strike! Bam! Ooh, look at that, baby. Let me get some rage up, and I can whirlwind too. Woo, woo, woo! I actually need to... I should probably reset my recount damage just to see how much damage uh, Storm Strike's going to be doing. But for now, one use is already 192, so... Hoo, 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 boy. All right, so I'm going to cut away now. I'll see you guys over uh, in Nesting Worries. Oh, who's this? Johnson. Young Johnson, sir, I will not fight you. Do you want some help? <laughs> I'm like, do you want some help with these mobs? Okay. Sidori, I will not fight you. I'm still, you know what? I'm st I guess I won't cut away. Fuck. I always say I'll cut away, but then it's like, look, I'm already pretty close anyway. I was going to say... I like to go on tangents, if you guys, in case you guys haven't noticed. In case you guys have been watching me forever and haven't noticed, I like to go on uh, some tangents here and there. But there is one Alliance character in particular <laughs> that I have never for I will never forgive. And I forget what her name was, but I believe it was a female human. And she was a goddamn hunter build, that's for sure. That's for sure. I will never forgive her. She came up, I was... Not even, uh, I wasn't even ready for combat, and she just said, I'm going to start attacking you. And then there was another dude last episode who just came in and ganked me. I believe he was a 60. What's anyway, let's go ahead and turn into Raptor Mastery 2, him at Nessing Worry Jr. Uh, ho, ho, we have ourselves a true, re excuse me? You want to fucking go, dude? All right, let's go. No, 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 Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's fucking go. You wanna go, dude? You wanna fucking go, dude? I will fight everyone here. And I will destroy you all. Dude, he attacked me first! God damn it! You guys want some PvP? Excuse me? You wanna fucking go? You wanna fucking go, dude? No remorse! I will kill you all and then eat your corpse. Stupid bitch. Okay, <laughs> I was a little toxic. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and turn this in. And uh, we will uh, pick up the follow-up. You wanna fucking go, dude? I will destroy you. I will sit here and wait for you to respawn. Okay? Say some shit in world chat. I fucking dare you. I double dog dare you, my dude. You wanna fucking try and attack me, you dumb idiot? Now, where's that fucking 37? I'm gonna hunt down that bitch, okay? This episode has gone to a very dark place. I didn't want it to go here. But I'm gonna hunt this fucking bitch down. I didn't attack her. I saw her before, and I didn't attack her. I'm gonna come back now. I'm gonna come back and kill this fucking bitch. You wanna- you want- you want some fucking shit, dude? I will give you some shit that you ain't never seen before, okay? I got Storm Strike. I got Whirlwind. Fucking spit on your ass. Okay, <laughs> I just said I didn't want it to go here. You see what world PvP does to me, people? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, where's that fucking 37? I'm gonna hunt her down. I will hunt her down if it's the last thing I do. You guys? You, you see? You see who's here? You see who's here? This fucking bitch. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I'm gonna follow her. I think I can attack her. <laughs> I, I've never forgiven her. I will never forgive her. I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna stalk her. I'm gonna follow her. I'm gonna kill her. Where'd she go? Where's she going there? Yeah. You see me? I see. I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh shit. It's a fucking 60 there. I can't attack her. Can I attack her? I don't think so. Alright, let's turn this quest in. <laughs> We're back in Booty Bay, by the way. I found that fucking bitch who... <clears throat> Here's what happened. You guys... Well, you guys you guys already know what happened. You guys saw the video. I don't know, I don't really need to talk about it. Let's turn in Singing Blue Crystal Shards here. And there's a follow-up. Bring 10 Singing Blue Crystal Shards. 
back to crank and these uh the follow-up is pretty much just like kill kill the same kind of mobs only they're of a higher level than normal uh this is whiskey slim he wants his lost grog we can go ahead and accept that quest there's another quest to turn in to some goblins up on the next floor here if we come up the stairs here and that will be the skull skull splitter tusks let's go ahead and talk to kebak here turn in uh 18 of these bad boys to him uh krasik here has a quest here to speak with uh train wreck <laughs> that's pretty funny Tran wreck, but I I'm gonna pronounce it as train wreck uh, over in Gadget San. I'm gonna follow her. I'm gonna follow her and I'm gonna kill her. I, I will not forgive her. Fuck that shit. Here's Finn Frizzracket. He's very sick. He has Stranglethorn fever. He wants us to seek out Witch Doctor Unbagwa and have him summon Mock the Savage and then bring uh, the Heart of Mock back to Finn Frizzracket. Is that who we're. Is that, is that what we're doing here? Uh, okay, here's Seawolf McKinley, uh, and he wants us to speak with Stoli in Steamweedle Par uh, Port, excuse me, um, because he owes him a debt. And then we have another quest over here, Privateer Bonds. How many quests do we have? 18 out of 25. Oh my goodness. And he wants uh, 10 bundles of Akiris Reed, I believe, by the bundle. We actually do have a piece of mail. Let me go read it, because I believe there is a mailbox here. Learn to ride. Bring, uh, this item begins a quest. A good sir, High Lord. I write to make you aware of my services as a writing trainer. Blah, blah, blah. So this starts a quest. Bring the pamphlet. <laughs> what a dumb quest. But okay, let's accept this quest. I accept. I ain't no bitch. Okay, this is what happened. I want to find Meal. Is she still down? Is she still down there hiding? Like a little, like a little baby back bitch? I don't know. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go stalk her and find her and kill her. Because this is what happened. I don't know where she went. Maybe she logged out. She logged out real quick because she saw me coming. Oh no, there she is right there. She's fucking up there. Yeah, I see you. I was minding my own business. I'm going to come up and fight you. Oh, she ran away. Like a little bitch. Again. I was minding my own business. wonder if I can kill him. He looks AFK. Minding my own business. When out of nowhere, I was attacked by level 34, and I'm like, what the fuck is this bullshit? I'm gonna try and attack her anyway. Uh-uh, yeah, bitch. You wanna fucking go? Oh, no! <laughs> I killed her! I fucking killed her! What the fuck? I did not kill her. Did I kill her? Did they kill her? Did I kill her? What the fuck? Um, excuse me? How did she die? <laughs> I did not kill her. Did I crit her? No fucking way. What just happened? I'm so confused. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> what happened? She died instantly. Was that a crit? I'm so confused. Everything. Show me everything that happened. So, Booty Bay Dude came over and, and killed me instantly in like two hits. Mel died. How did Mel die? Oh no! Oh, Booty Bay Guard killed her! <laughs> Dumb bitch. I got her. I fucking got her. <laughs> you know why? You know why it killed her? You all go, son? Because <laughs> her frost armor, her thorns, uh, and what is that it? Just those two? Her, her retribution aura her and her thorns caused damage to me. So the booty bay bruisers killed her as well as killing me. I think that's fucking hilarious, by the way. Um, well, I got my revenge, I guess, sort of, in a way. Uh... Essentially what happened what I was saying before before I started attacking her uh, So you guys saw earlier what happened that dude that dude tried ganking me I guess or attacking me. I ended up killing him She came over to help uh, the ally 
Because she probably thought, oh no, the dude's attacking a dude like six levels lower than him. When actually, it was it was the opposite. That dude started the fight with me. He picked a fight with with a dude six levels higher. Of course I'm going to kill you. And I would have killed uh, Meal too, but she was spamming Holy Nova. And it's like, well, that's the downfall of not having a heal. Because I don't have a heal. You know? Where'd she go? I'm going to go find her and kill her again. I don't give a fuck. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to do it off screen. This is the end of the episode, boys and girls. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys had uh, a fun time. In the meantime, I'm going to stalk this bitch down and kill her again. Uh, or I'm going to try to anyway. I don't know if I'm going to succeed. So yeah, that's that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. hope you guys had, had a good old, good old fun time. And until next time, I hope y'all stay classy. And peace out. Where is she? I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her! No remorse!